In the lead up to results day, it's important to keep a level head, stay calm. It is a very, very stressful time, but if you give yourself the time to prep and get all the information that you need ahead of you, it means that when results day rolls around, you are prepared for any such outcome. The first thing that you want to do is make sure you've got all the information you need in front of you. You can start by having your UCAS ID and your login details onto your UCAS so that it means that on results day, when the morning rolls around and you can log in onto your UCAS application, you can see what the outcome of your offers are. What you'll also need to do on results day is go and collect your results. Now you need to speak to your sixth form or college about how best to do that. It might be in person, it might also be that you can access them digitally, but accessing your results is going to be really important for those students that decide to go through clearing, as when you speak to universities, they will want to know exactly what your grades are to see if they're able to make you an offer. The first thing you want to check is what the situation is with your firm university. Even if you drop your grade slightly from what you were predicted, it's possible your firm choice might still take you on the course you applied for. If your firm choice does take you, great, you can relax, you're in, and you can go and have a positive day. If you've moved on to your insurance choice because your firm choice has been unsuccessful, they again might have some flexibility. And again, check the grades, and if the insurance choice says you're in, you can relax, Get on a phone and sort out your accommodation. Do let a student finance know you're moving on to your insurance choice and move forward from there. If your insurance choice also say that unfortunately you've not quite made the grades, that's when you've got clearing there as an opportunity to help you secure a great place for this year. And again, research in advance really helps. If you can think about this before results day, what scenarios might I be in? What do I need to prepare for? Have a plan B. If you've got a few universities up your sleeves, a few alternative courses, you may never need them. Let's hope you don't need them. But if you do, you've got clearing there to help. You can jump on the phone really quickly, get your offer, move forward from there, and then move and have a great university experience at that course. If you don't do your research, it can be slightly more of a panic in the morning. So preparation in advance really will help and really is key. We know it has been a challenging few years, and for many of you, this will be the first chance you've had to tackle any sort of exam. So again, don't put the pressure on too much. And when you are looking around for universities, when you're doing that research, know that DMU is gonna be very, very flexible, and we're gonna be helping you out to try and get you the place that you deserve. And do get in touch directly with the universities, not just on results day when you know your grades, but in advance. Pick our brains, find out what scenarios might look like, look at our course options, and that way you've got those options ready so that if you do need them on results day and the days to follow, you're well armed, you're prepared, and you're ready to go. So best of luck, good luck with results day.